If you've ever wanted to create a video with a high tech look, maybe something that's dealing with motherboards, construction, things like that, you have come to the right place. Introducing M High Tech from Motion VFX. My name is George Edmondson and I can't wait to share with you how to use this plugin. I will also mention all of the tools used for this tutorial are coming straight from M High Tech. Once you have installed M High Tech, it can be located in your transitions as well as your effects and your titles. To get a real time preview, you can scrub over each of these and you'll see those in your canvas. So you can see here we have multiple options for infographics, movements, overlay effects, tools, and typography. To apply, you can apply just like any other title by clicking and dragging in on top of the clip that you would like to affect. You can see here that we have multiple on-screen controls for many of these. So we have independent on-screen controls here for our danger title, and that is going to adjust your position, scale, and your rotation. And then we have an additional on-screen control here for our magnification. And what's really great about this is there are some somewhat hidden on-screen controls here on the corner as well. So you can use that really quickly and you can make adjustments there to the magnification section. Over in our inspector, if you want to bring the amount of magnification down, you can do so by coming down to the magnification scale section and then you can just scale that back down a bit if you would like to. So let's say maybe we wanted to set it up something like this and we're just saying danger for this section or for this area. Now with that said, we do see that that is moving. So if you would like, you can set your position of that frame there of the magnification position. Let's go ahead and set a keyframe and then we will move to the end of the clip and we will continue to move that down. And then let's go to maybe the center of our clip and just make sure that that is still there. And now we have that animated across where it is just kind of following and saying danger for this area. All right, the next section, we have some very basic movements. You have just a simple movement from left to right, up or down, whatever you'd want. We have a custom camera that's gonna do sort of a sweeping dolly effect there. And then we have our multiple camera angles, and then we have a zoom with a frame. So I'm going to use my zoom here, and I'm just going to drag this in on top. And then you can see that that is a very fast animation, just boom, kind of pushes in. Let's say that I want to do a zoom on this column here on this beam but then let's say that i do not want my viewfinder on so i can just come over to my inspector toggle that off and then now we have a zoom in there with a little bit of blur really nice and then it's just going to pop right back down there we go so on this shot i liked my infographics here and i really liked this measurement so i'm going to grab measurement one and i'm going to bring this down and i'm going to actually bring it beneath my zoom so that we can zoom in on that and then i'm going to use the on-screen controls and i'm just going to very quickly adjust this so that that looks about like it's sitting on the side of our column there and i can use this tool here bring that up it is adjusting the entirety so bring that down until we get about where we want and then you can see that we have this final on-screen control and that is going to move our bar fill length and of course if we wanted to adjust that text we would do so over here in our text option but let's see how that looks it just kind of punches in animates in really cool and then pops right back out with that animation. On this next one, I'm going to use my typography. Of course, like I said, we've got a lot of typography. We have some multiple descriptions, things like that. I want to use this call out and I'm going to use the built-in Final Cut Pro tracker. So I'm going to click this and drag this in on top and we're just gonna track the top of this column here. So I'm gonna click in there and then I'm gonna let go. You can see that we have our tracker set and I'm just going to click analyze and it's going to analyze forward and backward. 
really nice. I actually need to bring my call out back to the beginning. There we go. That's done. And I'm going to continue to use my on-screen controls. And I'm just going to maybe bring that in right there. And then we should be able to see that that follows that column really nicely. Over in our inspector, our animation in was turned off. So let's turn that on. And then we are going to see that that animates in and it just kind of follows that and then animates right back out. So a really fun, really cool way to use these callouts utilizing the built-in Final Cut Pro tracker. And of course, if we wanted to make any changes, we can do so over here in our inspector for our text, our font, our size. We can toggle our frame on and off. We can change that thickness of our frame. So a lot of really great adjustable parameters there in our inspector. We can continue down. Let's pop right back up and we can take a look at some of our overlay effects. So let's say that we wanted to show this bit, but then we wanted to quickly blur our background. So I'm going to drag this in on top and then I'm going to adjust this blur background so that we can see that we have our clip and then we go into an animated blurred background there. And then we can use maybe some more titles or descriptions, maybe a placeholder or something like that. So I think this would be a really great option to use one of our placeholders. So we could drag in maybe a sponsored section here. We can bring that down. And then we have our on-screen controls. So maybe we wanna center that up really quickly. And then you can see that we have an additional on-screen control to spread our logos out. And now we have a beautiful background that just animates in really, really nice. And we've got a little bit of that movement going on in the background. Over in our inspector, if you wanted to make changes, of course, again, to your title, and then we have our different drop zones that we can populate those drop zones with logos of your sponsors or whatever it is that you want to populate those with. All right, continuing down again, we can use some typography here. Um, all of these titles are really, really nice. This great description, things like that. Uh, it's very simple. Just simply click and drag, as I said earlier, onto. And then we've got this beautiful cloud here. And again, I feel like this would be a good option to use a background overlay. So why don't we use uh, this fisheye here, I think that'll look fine. And we will bring that in beneath. Why don't we change our pixel color to something a little bit darker, something like that. And we can adjust our blur and we could bring the brightness down. So again, that shows you really, really quickly how we are able to make adjustments to that and we can get a great look to create an awesome background. And we've got our title coming in there for our title as always we have some amazing on-screen control so we can kind of plant these wherever we would like and they're going to be moving around throughout the scene just kind of bouncing around floating around really nice all right, let's not forget that we do have some effects and transitions. So over in our effects section under M High Tech, if we have a clip highlighted, we can just scroll over that and it's going to show you sort of how that effect is going to affect that. So we have multiple frames and then we have that comparison. So I'm gonna use my frame, let's use frame three and we will drag that in. And then you can see that we have an on-screen control once again for position, scale, and rotation. So maybe I would want to use that frame. And then over in our inspector, we can see we have a content mode. So if you want to use title or drop zone, you can do so there. And beneath, if we go down, we can see that we can toggle our background on or off, or we can make an adjustment to the opacity of that background. So maybe we want to do something like that where we have our clip and it's just going to animate in really cool and then maybe we could use some more titles over here on the right side so maybe we want to use a list of elements something like that we bring that in very quickly just kind of move that over scale it down just a bit 
and boom, now we have created an awesome composition really, really quickly using just one effect and one title. And last but not least, let's not forget transitions. So we have seven transitions. Again, if you scrub over, you can see how these are going to look. We have a magnification shift, some morphing, a pop-up that's kind of cool, quick load, really nice, and then just a target zoom. Why don't we use pop-up for this? So I'm just going to click and drag this in between my two clips. All of those transitions are going to work the same. And you can see how that works, really nice. This transition does have on-screen controls as well. So wherever you want that second video clip to pop in from, maybe you want it from the left or the right, whatever you could do from the center, make it a little bit bigger, whatever you want to do, you can use that on screen control to dictate where that is going to happen. Last but not least, over in our inspector, we do have multiple adjustable parameters, including this content float. So during the time that you see that frame on a camera, it is going to have just a little subtle push or pull depending on how you have that float set up. We can toggle our frame on and off, change thickness. If you want some time code, you can see tiny up there in the top right hand corner. You can have time code on or off along with your format. And again, adjustable parameters for days in every single one of these elements that are inside of M High Tech. So once again, this is George Edmondson from MotionVFX.com. Thank you for checking out this very quick tutorial on M High Tech, which is now available on MotionVFX. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.